Hey y'all, I actually have another message that I forgot to add into the message that I just gave y'all earlier. So, I want to say, is this Thursday? I want to say Thursday, right? I had went somewhere and usually where I, when I go to this particular spot, no, sorry, I'm walking my dog, but I'm trying to get this message in as well too. So, when I was walking my, uh, not walking my dog, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, excuse me. So, when I went somewhere, right, and I normally go to this particular place, went to go visit somebody right and they have like two rose bushes within their walkway outside of their apartment building should I say and for some particular reason on Thursday it was so many different chain events that was happening oh sorry y'all my dog is pooping about to okay so there was so many different chain of events that was happening that morning just you know I saw the lights flashing that was a sign of a warning and you know I did see the warning coming or should I say the spirit was warning me of something that was coming and I did end up seeing what spirit was trying to warn me of. But the other thing was I had actually realized like when I went to um, this particular apartment building, right? Um, I had noticed when I walked past this bush, normally any other time when I smell this bush, the bush usually smells because it's a rose bush and it usually smells very aromified, which is a very very therapeutic smell should I say and I noticed this particular time when I walked past that bush on Thursday the bush smelled very foul like and spirit just kept saying foul the word foul just kept jumping out at me right so it was just letting me know some stuff is just about to come to the surface and if you're not experiencing it now you may find yourself experiencing it with next week or a couple of days and I'm not wishing this on anybody but this is just the energy that's in the air that's taking place and you know people's stuff are coming to the surface to be dealt with anything like I said earlier that you may have you know cloaked whether it be as a child or tried to cover up you didn't want to uh, associate yourself with or maybe even something that you probably thought let's just say as a kid that you probably tried to mask and move on with your life and thinking that everything was okay and like I said you know uh, creating the false egos in a sense to help you navigate through life in a sense um, but with all that being said like I said there's like a foul type of energy that's coming up and it could be something associated to family ties generational ties um, something somehow associated with your family that's somehow tied back to you so I just wanted to give you guys that message and uh, and it's basically a message for anyone is if you have had anything that's been in a closet that you like I said that you have been masking and it's been in the closet and you haven't really dealt with it uh, as I said in that video when I said the walls were closing in um, shit is really getting even real and it's the, the energy is just going to keep ramping itself up even more and, and even more so anyway i just wanted to give you guys that heads up because spirit was like you forgot to tell them about the foul smelling bush but anyway so like i said before just keep in mind that these things that are happening are divinely orchestrated and if you can keep that in mind and try to stay centered stay grounded and try not to like i said about the pot stay neutral and um don't blow your lid <laughs> in other words uh when either you find out stuff or when you hear about stuff that may have possibly taken place within your family or you know it's like that band-aid that's being ripped off so if your family has been like hush hush about things which i know a lot of generational people in their 50s and 60s they seem to have done that uh, and it could be some people today. I know with me, I try to be open and honest with my kids just because I know that certain generations didn't want kids to know certain things that was happening and taking place. And for me, I just feel like that blindsides a kid. You know, they don't know what dynamics have taken place. Therefore, if they don't know what things that they should be mindful of and watch out for to make sure that they're not repeating same patterns. But anyway, that's all I wanted to give you the message of. And I hope you guys, uh, I wish you all much love, much light. I just wanted to give you that quick message. Stay blessed. Love you. Bye.